that I update this. Yeah, it's been a few days because the last few days have been crazy, but I usually update this every day, if not like three or four times a day, just different music news. And of course, it crosses over into the political realm at times. Um, so AI is upending the music production industry faster than you think. The advent of AI in music production has reached a new zenith with the release of Suno AI version 3, a tool that could potentially upend the industry. Suno AI boasts its ability to generate fully fledged high quality songs from mere text prompts, a technology leap that mirrors the advancements seen in AI generated video content. So. Let's go and check this out. I, I made a video of it, so we'll go over and check out this video, and and, and then we'll actually go play around with it because I'm uh, <laughs> we, we'll make a song about Donald Trump, and these songs are great. Okay, so let me let me go over to uh, TikTok because that's where I put it. I like I like uh, Ray Williams and Philip DeFranco too. I like Philip DeFranco as well. Uh, okay, so check this If you're out. in the music production industry, this video is a must watch. Suno AI- I'm sorry you guys had to witness that. <laughs> this video is a must watch. <laughs> Version 3 has just dropped and this potentially could upend the entire industry. Listen to this. Oh, This might not be a chart topper, but let's rewind and see where AI music was just a year ago. <laughs> so this way. <right, laughs> so that right there was from a podcast I did last year with a uh, with Stefan. Um, I can't remember his name, but Stefan is a a. a, a a music conductor. He writes music. He wrote music for Batman the animated series. He wrote for um, uh, and composed. Uh, my God, he has so many. I can't even remember all the fucking things. I want to make sure I give him love. So let me go find him. Uh, let's see here. Where? Uh, oh, I gotta go to history because I just dug this shit up yesterday. So hold on. Oh my god, sorry guys. I thought I had all this stuff. Oh, here we go. S Stefan Smith. Stefan L. Smith. He's a composer. He has he wrote music for uh, Batman. Doom comes to Gotham. He's worked with Danny Elfman, Hans Zimmer, Avatar: The Way of the Water. The new and the latest Lion King. So this dude has definitely been involved in some shit. <laughs> so I it, think it's just very electronic. This was right. nine months ago. Yeah. Well, here's the interesting <laughs> thing. So here's like the breakdown of it. Sort of uh, in terms. Uh, so this is off of uh, Salvador Dali's. And this uh, was what AI music was pages. then. So this this is was crazy. Listen to this. That, that's not great, right? I mean, it's okay. Now let's go over to SUNY or SUNO. And I wrote, uh, I didn't write this. I didn't write any of this. So it's just a text to audio prompt. And let's see custom mode. And this was just like, <laughs> I wanted a hip hop reggae metal song. And this is what it came up with. In this country, the light. We're grooving to the rhythm, feel it deep inside Reggae vibes mixed with metal's might The hip-hop beats keep the fire light yes. So come on, let's rock this town Reggae metal hip-hop taking over the sound Reggae metal hip-hop taking over the sound <laughs> It's wild, it's freaking wild, y'all um, Hold on, let's go back over here Create and here's you just put in a text thing. So let's uh, uh, uh um, this <laughs> I put in a song for uh, Jeffrey Epstein. This is like make a song about Jeffrey Epstein, and this is look. And it's not just it's not just melody. It's not just a fully fledged out uh, uh, song. It also has lyrics. So 
it, it wrote the it, it, and all I wrote was like make a pop song about Jeffrey Epstein, and this is was it, the 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 verse and chorus. In the shadow of the powerful secrets conceal a dark web of deception where no truth is revealed. A man of wealth and influence, but what lies beneath a web of crime and cover-ups that justice can't reach? Which program? This is called Suno AI, and I'll put this in the chat here, guys. Bam. And you guys can go and do this too. You can sign up through your Google account and it will, uh, you can just start making stuff now. You only get 50 credits, uh, I guess, but it's a, I mean, listen to this shit. This is like, it's crazy. Now, I could see, obviously, this isn't ready for production right now. Like, you couldn't just download this and, and upload it to Spotify and, and go. It's not at that point yet, but from last year, we just heard from last year, it was a bunch of bleep bleep bloops. And then now to this year, we have sh we have this. Like that's really good. And this chorus is hot. And this is another one. Yeah, it, dude, it's not a bad song at all, right? So this would be a good way to like maybe get started on a song, song, right? You could write a country song, right? And and uh, let, let's write a country song about Donald Trump being able to run for president. So write a country song um, about... Donald Trump um, being allowed to run for president. Let's see if it'll let me. I didn't think it was going to let me write a song about Jeffrey Epstein, but it did. So let's see if we can. Uh, oh, did I spell allowed? Yeah, I did. I, I, we don't, we don't spell English good either. Uh, let, let's create it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see if it'll allow it. It looks like it's doing it, folks. It looks like it's doing it because what we're finding out is AI is programmed by um, very liberal minded folks. And sometimes they won't let you, uh, uh, they won't uh, uh, create things that involve Donald Trump because, like, uh, because th he's been labeled as a racist or whatever. Uh, Saucy would have fun with this. Oh shit! I think you get credits every day or every other day because I only had twenty credits left. Let's see what's up with it. And what's crazy too is that it generates an album cover for it too, which is another thing that's being taken. Amy, what's going on? Good to see you. Another thing that's being uh, taken from uh, the industry because because that whole article I wrote was about how AI is sort of going to upend the industry from just writing, producing music to, uh, to, to album art, which we are already seeing people use AI to create album art. And we already have like, uh, programs like Lander who, that masters your, your songs. Um, and we already have mixing software. So you're talking about eliminating so many steps in the process. And so why wouldn't, these big production companies like UMG or um, uh, I mean Sony, any just think any any record label that that spends millions of dollars in production, why wouldn't they cut cost? Why wouldn't they cut you know thousands and thousands of dollars out of their everyday cost? It only makes sense. So, which it's terrible, right? Like it only makes sense financially, but I you know. We'll see how this all goes, but l let's see how the Trump card. This is this song's called the Trump card. Gather round, folks, cause I've got a tale to tell. Got a man named Donald. We're 
with a story we know so well. He's got the hash, the tweets, and that signature hair. <laughs> He's got dreams of the White House, and he don't seem to care. They said it couldn't happen, but the man's got the Trump card. He's got everyone talking, whether it's good or hard. He's got the moves, the words, and the ultimate deal. Could we speak time when he finally see us feel? kind of good that was good right like that is a a uh, a fantastic uh a starter right and, and again you can hear the song quality isn't great if you get the professional um i think the professional grade of this uh app you will you can put longer songs together you can make whole songs and um I mean, it's wild, right? Like, <laughs> compared to last year, nine months ago, this was nine months ago that that it was just garbage. It sounded like shit. Again, let's go back nine months ago and hear it. I mean, that's... take <laughs> yeah yeah right like oh, these images yeah yeah it, it, it's so you you hear how it's come in nine months we've seen how ai video has has sped up for nine months it's wild what what we're seeing in just a few months time so <laughs> let's go back here let's hear the second song that that shit was tight though Uh, so here's here's the here's the ballad of a presidential run. It's country upbeat. Land about a man who's got a brand new plan. If we talk all across this land about a man who's got a brand new plan. He's a businessman with a golden touch. touch. But some folks say he talks a little, a little too much. Oh, oh shit! Listen to that. That's a pre-chorus. Here we go, here's the hook. He's a real estate tycoon, he's got a real big name. He's the one that everybody's talking about, it's a dang old shame. But in this country, he's allowed to run. <laughs> and we're all sitting back, waiting to see what he does. <laughs> but we ain't gonna let him build no Oh shit. It's not a bad song at all. Like, it had a pre-chorus, and, oh, my God, like, the implications are crazy. Now, we were just talking about the other day, and we'll kind of come back to this article here that that's uh, published at WeSpeakEnglishGood.com. Um, so, just a year ago, AI-generated videos were a novelty, often lacking in detail and realism. Today... Platforms like Sora are producing videos with such intricate details that they are beginning to supplement traditional movie production rules. This shift has prompted significant reactions from industry leaders, including Tyler Perry, who reportedly paused a major studio expansion project in response to the capabilities of AI like Sora, which is very true. We saw that. We, we read about it the other day. Right here, fucking Tyler Perry. He's he's going to not expand his studio. Jobs are going to be lost. Because think about it, especially with this video, you're not going to... Uh, I just think if I can produce a song that legit, what does it... Uh, what does for mundane... for What it does for the mundane things. Yeah, I mean, anybody can go in there, write a prompt, release a song... And again, with with uh, vocal cloning, they don't even need the artists anymore. So you could get Shania Twain, right, or Garth Brooks, and you could just have them writing a whole song. We've already heard songs that people use the voice cloner for to make new Kanye West shit too. It, it's it. it like, I, I think that people are always going to crave live performance, right? Like, I, I don't think that's going to be going anywhere soon. But as a gigging musician, 
I have been replaced more than once by a fucking Spotify playlist or e even worse, a DJ. And imagine if you can have a tailor-made song or playlist that is specific to your event, your wedding, your funeral, whatever it is, where you can have it be in complete detail about you and your guests and your audience. Imagine what that's going to do, right? And now, again, is that going to replace live music? I don't think so. Not for now. But if we, <laughs> but if the dollar crashes and they do convert us over to digital currency and we're only allowed to spend our money on certain things, like you can't go and, and you got to go to work, you can't drive your car, we're all going to live in 15-minute cities, and uh, your your currency is only reg reg regulated to uh, what the government seems fit for you to be attending. So live music could be eliminated. They could just have this, you know, AI generated garbage that just, you know, feeds the masses, opiate of the masses. This uh, entertainment can be right. Uh, it's it's scary what what the potential is. But for now, people who are in music production should be worried about this. And I was saying this nine months ago. I, I've been saying this since the beginning of all this. It wasn't shit now. And seeing the leaps and bounds since last... It wasn't even a year ago. Since For, for nine months ago, this shit was garbage. And now we're seeing wild and drastic improvements. It's fucking crazy uh, <laughs> uh we need another song let's make a um 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 a child song about my baby girl nilani Let's see what it does. I'm going to make a tailor-made song for my daughter here. My brand new daughter here. Nalani, smile. Aw, that's so cute. Let's hear how this turns out. I've been eager, my little star. Shining bright no matter where you are. Your smile lights up the room. Makes my heart sing a happy tune. I mean the 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 choral movements are fantastic. Um, sure, this isn't on the radio, right? Well, where are they getting their source material from, right? So when you think about it, these, are just uh, information gathering resources that sort of take the already existing things and sort of transfer into whatever this is, right? So. Um, but these, but but again, these chordal changes, the melodies are good. These are good melodies. So potentially you can use this as a tool right now, right? Right now, like this would be a great tool if you're like, I want to write a song about, you know, the the world ending um, and, uh, and the chaos that ensues, right? So whatever you want, I want to write a metal, let's just hear what they do. Uh, that was very nice. Those songs were very good. Um, and let's say you just want to write like a, a death metal song about, you know, the end of the world and you're having a hard time coming up with a melody. You're having a hard time coming up with chords. You're having a hard time just writing and you just go over to Suno 
plug it in and they give you a song. Now, all music and all art is just built on the last generation, right? It's all built on what came before it. So um, to say that this is stealing, I would say that's a stretch unless you can find a song that has the exact same melodies and the same exact chord structure, then, then of course that's stealing. All chord structures, all melodies have sort of been been in play. So we're we're seeing we're, whenever whenever we're transcending genres and such, um, people are just building off of what came before them, which is completely how this works. It's how art works. Yeah, and and as artists, we're sort of purveyors of taste, right? We're purveyors of taste that sort of take from what we've experienced already and and create something out of that. So uh, let let's try death. How many credits? I got three more credits. Death metal song about the apocalypse. I don't know if I'm spelling this right. Oh about the apocalypse from a super volcano describe the chaos that ensues and people's reaction <laughs> that's fun uh, okay. Apocalypses. That's not right. All right, let's see what it does. This is this is gonna be fun. Oh shit! It's going. It's going. Those songs about Nalani are very sweet, though. I really like those songs. Let's see if Douchewad is still over and kick making noise. Stop being gay. <laughs> <laughs> I work union construction. Well, Ryan, you have... <laughs> it's funny when trolls just get ignored, they're not getting the reaction they want, so they just leave. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Inferno Unleashed. Let's see where I'll go. I'm going to turn it down so it's not... Um, Blasting us. Eternal darkness takes flight. Oh, Inferno unleashed. The end is nigh. Fill the black in sky. No escape from this wrath. Flame crumbles. Consumed by eternal blaze. Dude! Blazing fires, darkness ripping over the land. Eternal night, chaos. Holy shit, that, like, dude, but that's like a, a good ass fucking metal song. That is good. Like, especially about, like, death and destruction. Wallace, welcome in, my friend. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Much love, brother. Um, wow. So, even, I mean, like, right now, again, this isn't something that we could just go upload to Spotify, which you could, right? Like, you could upload this garbage to Spotify, but it is sounds like like the if you're an artist who needs help writing music or is stuck or wants to just cheat and fucking write a song because you could just easily take this all from this and just go with it right you could easily turn this in i mean let's listen to in inferno unleashed part two right <laughs> Damn! Damn! 
God damn, that is good, man. Like, oh my God. I'm just so, it, it's just insane. It's just insane how good this is, man. And again, this is going to only get better and it's only going to improve and it's only going to uh, find its way. We're in, um, in, uh, in China. I think it's China. Uh, they already have, um, they already have, uh, AI pop songs that are charting. They have hundreds. Uh, it's, it's called Suno AI and I'll drop a link in the chat for you, Wallace. And, uh, you have to sign up and you get, f um, five credits free. And I think they re up every few there you go. You can just click on that link and, and you, you do have to sign in, but <sighs> this is crazy. This is crazy. What, what else can we do? Um, let's do a hip hop song about AI music generators eliminating human producers so let's see what it says let's see what comes up with this is gonna be good this is crazy shit yo this is crazy stuff the rise of machines oh my god that's what it's called the rise of machines and the other one's called human element human hip-hop bowl let's see Yo, yo, let's in the fuck up something to say. It's a revolution coming, gonna change the game. Hey, our music generators taking over the beat, eliminating humans, dropping heat up on heat. No more producers, no more human control. The machines are rising, taking over, watch them roll. They spit out tracks, flawlessly precise. No room for error, they be paying the price. Yo, AI music generator, you think you're so clever But you're just a mission, you can't touch this endeavor Eliminating human producers, that's your plan But you can't replicate the soul of a real man Oh no, you can't, uh-uh, not even close You can spit out beats, yeah, you got the flow But you can't feel the rhythm deep down in your bones You can't capture the emotion that the passion we bring So step back, AI, you ain't the real thing Don't need no algorithms, no robotic rhymes With a human element, can't replicate our shine You can try, but you won't succeed Cause we're the ones who make the real music please <laughs> all right we got one more let's make uh let's uh oh, i'm gonna write let's make how about uh r and b song about diddy um uh how can i say it taking Oh, uh, wait a second. How good is it? Uh, about Diddy. Um, going to jail for sexual misconduct. Let's see if it'll make it. I wonder if it'll kick me up, kick it back to me. We can make a uh, rap about Jews taking off the world and putting Kanye in his place. <laughs> Uh, taking over the world. I thought the Jews already took over the world. Hey, I'm just kidding. I'm just, JK, JK. Love our Jewish brothers and sisters. Let's see. I want to hear their R&B. I want to hear their chordal movements here because this is always shadows of deceit. Shadows of deceit. A story unfolds, a tale of betrayal, where trust turns to go. A man once admired, a legend in his prime, but now his empire crumbles. It's the, the end, end of, of his time. time. Oh, the truth will come to light, no more hiding way. Can't escape the consequences, can't run your fate. In the depths of the darkness, justice will prevail. The shadows of deceit, they'll expose your hidden tale. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadows of deceit, they'll expose your hidden tale. I can look away, can't go 
close my eyes as the truth Dude, I mean, these are solid songs, man. These are solid songs with solid, uh, solid hooks, solid beats. Again, at this point, you could easily use this as as sort of a um, as sort of a jumping off point. But when we look at what happened nine months ago, and we look at what's happening now, what's going to happen in the next nine months? That's that's what people need to be asking themselves. It, it's, of course, you can sit here and talk shit and say that sucks, but. Once you w once you think about where this is going, it it's 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 frightening. It's very frightening. <laughs> that's good that is so good i think my favorite is uh the intense uh, apocalypse metal listen here that again And those hits, dude. I mean, come on. That's that's solid. That's solid writing. It's freaky. Now there's another one over here that I wanted to see what's going on. Um, so let's see. Uh let's have um uh let's have a um punk pop song about the Jews smacking Kanye into submission and taking over the world. It's probably going to be like, you are racist. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, that's Kanye. Kanye submission. All right. Oh, and it does video too. Oh, hey, let's see. You might have to sign in. Create music. Yes, we'll sign in. Sign in with Google. That's fine. Continue. That's fine. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. It's going to do it. What's interesting is is how um, how much freer the AI music is that, and I don't mean like free as in like it's free to use. I mean like how much uh, I may have to upload to my. <laughs> Let's go, Wallace. Let's go. It seems that uh, uh, I I got what you bet, but it seems like the AI music AI generators. Are a little bit more open-minded to controversial um, controversial topics, rather than uh, you know, like like Chat GPT. Uh, it won't write a poem about Trump, but it'll write a poem about uh, Joe Biden. Right? Um, <laughs> it's art. <laughs> yes, it's art. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Let's hear this pump punk pop punk. Punk pop song about you smacking Kanye. Uh, almost done. I'm, I'm, yeah, me too. Me too. Let's hear. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 
I, I just need about 10 three minute songs and I'll have an album. There you go. Hit hit me, baby, one more. Hit me, baby, one more time. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is taking forever. All right. Um, we can we'll, we'll read through here a little bit and then uh so the implications for the music industry are profound production companies independent artists and moving scoring houses stand to save substantial sums by utilizing ai tools that streamline the creative process bypassing the need for human musicians ai mastering suites like lander have been reducing the demand for traditional mastering service for some time and now ai mixing apps are following suit which is very true you can go and just upload a song and you upload your tracks um let's see ai mixing apps let's see let's just see what what, what they have this um Already, here are some top DJ app AI mixer. Oh, but this is for DJing though. Uh, mixing AI mixing songs apps. I don't know. Shit. Virtual DJ DJ Pro. That's not. They're they're like mixing stuff, but there are where you can actually song mixer for Spotify. No AI DJ. Mixing set. I just had some the other day. The question is, who is the artist? Right. Right. Well, again, there's uh, AI um, cloning uh, apps where you can go and record your voice, upload it, and then you can say whatever you want. So, therefore, you could easily go clone your voice, get an AI song, Put your voice over it with it singing all the melodies and just upload that shit. And you can be like, this is me. And you know people are going to do that. Like, you are going to do that. But it's crazy about the implications about producers and such because, like, I mean, think about it. If you have a low-budget film and you need music created and you don't you hate dealing with people you know musicians because they can be finicky they could you know that it's musicians can be hard to work with sometimes and it, all you have to do is instantly put in what you want you can just type it out and instantly something can pop out the other end um google last year when they released their text to um ai music generator they were making it so you can plan and type in the timeline so you can actually change the vibe of the music as it goes with the, the movie or, or video that you're producing. So they already have this implement. They already have this in mind. I mean, think about think about like last year with the writers and uh, actor strike, how part of their stipulations was that they could not use AI to replicate them and use them in perpetuity after you know they get one role right imagine how many actors and stuff will be out of work now they're not doing it now they won that but those contracts have they end at some point and then they'll have to go back in to renegotiate and by then we'll have we'll already have most of hollywood out of work because because when you think about Sora, you can just type in your location that you want and just have Sora create the video and drop that right into your project. Imagine Britney Spears doing a pro Nazis. <laughs> oh baby, baby, I want Hitler to rule over you. <laughs> fucking funny though it's horribly funny uh, uh, uh the ripple effect uh extends to visual arts as well as with text to as well as with text to image applications enabling independent artists to create their own album work artwork instantly reducing the need for graphic designers which i have tons of friends who just went and typed in the dolly and put in what they wanted and boom there's a picture i mean that's just so prevalent now I just see, I see so many AI generated album covers now. It's just, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. Um, you know, Fiverr, the, the, the application Fiverr 
had already sort of saturated the market and people lowering the bar, lowering prices and and making it so the the market is is kind of watered down already. Now with AI, that market kind of goes out the window as well. Um there's this new app that you can hire specific musicians to record certain parts for you. And that's going to go out, right? Like if you're an independent artist and you don't can't afford to pay a musician and with MIDI sounding as good as it does and with, uh, with AI quickly marching forward, you would just be like, okay, I need a banjo part that switches. Here's the chord structure and I need it to be picked and you'll have, you'll be able to put it, you'll be able to prompt the instrument, have the, the style of playing you want. They'll give you 10 options and all you have to do, it, you can put in the BPM. So you have the beats per minute that matches your project. Just drag it over into your project and boom, you have a banjo player on your country song. Uh, got to hurry up and get paid before I get Milli Vanilli. Uh, I mean, well, here's the thing, too. Who's to say that it's not art in some way? Who's to say that you're not, that that doesn't count? You know, if China right now uh, has several uh, hundreds of songs that are AI generated on their, in their top 10, in their top 100 billboards, whatever their billboards are called, um, then what, what stops that from happening in America? We already have that uh, AI rapper, right? Like we already have, uh, what's his name, FN something. He has songs with notable rappers already. And I'm saying he, like it actually exists. It's a fucking AI bot. So we already have that coming. Yeah, exactly, Waz. You'll just be able to... <laughs> they're never going to be able to Milli Vanilli you because you're just be like, this is my art. What? This is my art. <laughs> RIP graphic designers. I know so I, I know I so undersell my work because things like this. Well, that's what sucks, man. I, I understand, Robbie. It, it's crazy right now. Like right now I'm working with Gail Higgs West, creating, you know, producing some songs for her. And you know, what 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 I'm going to be out of work, too, because all she'll have to do is put her voice in, have uh, AI put in your chords, and have them create fully-fledged, uh, sketched-out songs that you can just record your voice over, or even more, you could just have the AI sing your clone voice over it, put it out, and that's you. I, I'm out, too, Robbie. I'm out, too. And, and it seems like... And this is what it was going. While live performances currently remain and uh, the dom uh, remain a domain largely untouched by AI, the role of musicians is evolving. DJs and Spotify playlists have already replaced many live performers, and the prospect of an AI-generated, tailor-made playlist crafted in real time for specific audience is on the horizon. Which we can already do that. We could already. Uh, I wrote it. AI wrote a beautiful song for my new baby. It was a beautiful song. As we stand at the crossroads, it's crucial to reflect on the rapid progression of AI over the past year and to ponder what the landscape will look like in the near future. The pace of change suggests that the music industry as we know it may be on a cusp of a transition transformation driven by AI. And uh, that's very, that's just what's happening, folks. It's just what's happening. These jobs are being automated. Uh, you know, we're going to have self-driving trucks that deliver our goods, you know, putting truckers out of work. That's going to eliminate the need for truck stops, right? Like, who's going to need a truck stop? Everything's going to be battery-driven, if that's even possible at this point. I don't know how we're going to do that, but it might. Luckily, my job can't be done by AI. Please tell us, Phil, if, why, why why is your job protected? If you want, if you want to share what you do. If not, that's totally fine. Now, I, I, I think that I don't know what jobs wouldn't be able to be put out. Because, let's see, like, because I was looking like five or six years ago, I think it was Andrew Yang, because uh, an AI can't plug in a cable. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you've seen those Boston Dynamic fucking robots. They're pushing them. They're doing flips and shit now. They might be able to lay cable, baby. You know what I'm saying? They be laying cable, baby. <clears throat> That's fucked up, too. Sex robots? <sighs> All right, let's see what this came up. <laughs> oh, shit. We got a whole thing going. Let's go. This is terrible. This is awful. <laughs> All that? All that for that? That was awful, folks. Let's take this over to... Uh, um, this is just the music, not the lyrics. Yeah, I know. What a bunch of... Oh, I got zero credits! Need at least 10 credits to create. I'm not upgrading. Fuck you. Sorry, Robbie. We don't get to hear... We don't get... <laughs> we don't get Jewish domination over Kanye in the world. I know. I know. We'll never know. We'll never know. Here, I'm just going to play this. I've been eager, mind in a star. Shiny, but no matter where you are. Your smile, you lights up the room. Makes my heart sing a happy tune. Now that in the line, you're my world. You're my precious baby girl. Every day with you is pure delight. Your laughter fills my life with light. I mean, that's a nice song, and it's for my little baby girl. Look at, and they even have like this uh, Pacific Islander looking girl. <laughs> My daughter's not Pacific Islander, but, you know, hey, that's nice. Uh, it, it, I mean, geez, Louise, it, it, this thing not only gives you lyrics, dot, chord progression, melody, the whole song, but it also gives you the album art. I mean, what the fudge? Give us credits. We need credits. <sighs> oh, maybe I can sign up a different. No, nah, we're done. <laughs> Maybe I can sign up a different account. I can use a different account. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, oh, shit. That's not what I want to do. Here's the shadow campaign. All right. Um, I'm going to go pee, and then we're going to come back and start talking some Diddy. Some Diddy. Because uh, Diddy is out there doing it, and it is crazy. It's basically he's basically the jeffrey epstein of hip-hop and it goes further than diddy i know we covered this uh i don't remember that was last week or something some shit but uh there's more stuff that's been coming out and i got my hands on the court documents so uh we'll go through some of that we'll find out who Lil rod is and such but first i'm going to relieve myself Okay, I don't know. 